The topic I chose for today is the purpose of task types. Task types is core functionality in Microsoft Project, but I have to tell you, I think it is one of the most misunderstood and sometimes least understood features in the software. So let's just start at the beginning. What is the purpose of the feature called task types? The purpose of this feature is to lock or fix one of the, the three variables that is used in the duration equation. Now these three variables are, you can either lock units, or you can lock work, or you can lock duration on any task. Now when you change one of the, the non-fixed variables, Microsoft Project will not change the one that is fixed or locked. But I want you to keep this in mind. You yourself, as the user, can always change the fixed variable value. You can change it, but Microsoft Project will keep its hands off that feature. So, now that we know the purpose of task types is to lock or fix one of the three variables in the duration equation, either units, work, or duration, how do you actually do this? In Microsoft Project, there's actually three ways to change the task type value for any task. The first method, this is the one that I usually use personally, is you apply the task entry view. That's called, uh, some people give it the nickname, the split screen view and then you can change the task type value for the task in the task form pane, which is at the bottom of the screen. Another uh, way to do this, and I know some of the folks that I work with like to do this, you can double click the task and then change the task type value on the advanced page of the task information dialog. A third method is to insert the column called type. Now everybody, I want you to jot this down if you didn't know this already. Notice the column is not called task type. So if you go hunting for task type, you're never going to find it. You look for the column called type and you, you insert it in any task view and then you can change the task type value. So what I'd like to do is let me give you a demo of how this actually works. Okay, I can do better here. Let me get to my Microsoft project. Everybody, in this project, I have uh, basically uh, half a dozen tasks, a couple summaries, a couple milestones. So let's work with task types. The first method I mentioned is to display the task entry view, or what people call that split screen view. Now the easiest way to do it, I have found, is you can just right mouse click anywhere in the Gantt chart pane and on the shortcut menu choose the item called Show Split. What Microsoft Project will do is it will display the Gantt chart pane in the top and the task form pane in the bottom. Now on the first task, Design P1, I want you all to look in the bottom pane with me see the task type value, and you have a pick list here. If we click the pick list, we'll see the one that's selected already is fixed units. And by the way, that is the default task type when you install Microsoft Project initially on your computer. You can change it to something else. I'll be showing you that in a moment. But the default task type initially in Microsoft Project is fixed units. You can also see we have the choices to do fixed work or fixed duration. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to leave this one at fixed units. Now let me go to the next task. If I click the pick list here, I can change the task build P1. I can change the task type to fixed work. And I'll click OK. Nothing extraordinary happens, at least not on the screen initially. I'll go to the task test. P1, and for this task, I'll click the task type pick list, and I'll choose fixed duration. Again, notice in using this split screen view, I'm able to change information 
at the uh, task and assignment level by setting the information in the task form, clicking OK, and then I can navigate to the next task by clicking the next button. I really like that feature. Now to close the task form pane, I can either double click on the split bar in between the Gantt chart pane and the task form pane, or I can also right mouse click again in the Gantt chart pane and deselect the item show split. I'll go ahead and do that just for consistency's sake. Now let me show you the second method. I can also double click any task. So I'm going to double click implement P1. And when you double click a task, Microsoft Project will always open the task information dialog. In the dialog, we'll need to go to the advanced uh, page. Halfway down the page, we'll see the task type item is listed. I can go ahead and click the pick list. And maybe on this one, I'll choose fixed work. And then we click OK. OK, so that's the second method. Now, the third method is to insert the type column. So I'll right click on the task mode column header, choose insert column, and I'll just to type the letters TY, and that'll get me right to the field that I want to put in. Oops, I ended up there. There we go. OK, let's get this column widened. Do a double click there. Drag my split bar over to the right edge of the duration column. Now, one of the things I wanted you to notice before I put in the, t the type column, there was no way to tell visually by looking at these first four tasks and knowing what the task type value was for them. There is nothing on the screen that will reveal the task type to you. You have to use one of those three methods to actually determine the task type. OK. So what I'd like to do now is let's go ahead and go to the, the uh, task design P2. And now I can just select the task type for each task individually by clicking in the type column. So on this one, I think I'll go ahead and pick fixed duration. There we have it. That's how to use the three methods.